Okay. Okay, I want to say hello again. Hi, everybody. Welcome again to another video here, another art video. Okay, thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. Uh, in this video, I'm, I'm going to be um, doing some various quick pose pictures. Okay, using stick figures and drawing over the stick figures. All right, just trying to do it the best I can. You're working with different shapes to see what kind of stuff I can do. Just really, really quick stuff. Simple. Um, so I'm not going to go too crazy or anything I'm not gonna go very crazy in this video just doing some very simple ones all right um, so let's see just I'm not even I'm not even really using a reference guideline for this one sometimes as I say I'll use these three lines like this I'll do lines to show how high the character is but it can be a little bit 2d I feel depending on how you see it I mean I've, I've said also that you could have also like the understanding that there's two lines for the character's feet to be on so if they're standing on this middle line here that's no good both both feet because it's like a center line you see you got to imagine um, they're not on a tightrope you see now that's a good very important thing to think about the same way as we um, think about the fact that um, while I'm here hold on that's the same way we think about uh, we can think about using spheres as well like you know spheres meaning like if I if I put a ball here you see it's not it's not just here on the center or further back same size you see it's here but what we're saying is what we're saying is this one this ball is not on this line the third line here we're not we're not saying that we're saying that this ball is actually on the center but this is the size of it so if we were looking at this in perspective now with our two pink lines and our one blue line in the middle this pink ball is actually this size okay we're not saying that it's on either side on one of those lines it's actually on, it's that ball is actually on the red or, or the blue line is what we're saying in that image there uh, let me just help you out a little bit. It may help to be a little bit above the line to actually understand, but it, then again, it depends. And it's like if we're looking slightly down on it, which we are, when we're the camera is slightly higher. Let me give you an understanding of what I'm saying with that as well. Perspective-wise, okay. Let's say perspective-wise. Um, if I add another layer, just really quickly, and show you some perspective. If we got some perspective, I'll give you three views of perspective, right? Here we can see a house, okay? And we can also see the top of the trees. Can you see the roots? And there's a bird's nest in the tree. And this tree is here. And we can also see a box. Um, the box is lower, it's on the ground, okay? and the box is here and we can see the front of the box and the top of the box you see and the house is here now that's a mid perspective so I'll put mid how about uh, looking up okay looking up is like this we're not gonna see much of the ground at all we're just going to see literally you know the the tops of the, the the trees more of that tree and the birds nest i've done it a little bit big but we're just showing you for example okay this is the tree here we're, we're looking up into the tree so i'll put this here this is the tree we're looking up into the tree and we can see this house you know it's like that it's like getting you know we're looking straight up at it like getting bigger as it's closer to us you know and this box we can't see the top of the we can't see the top of anything we can't see the top of the house in the first picture big the roof because it's it's higher than we are it's taller than we are we can't see the top of the tree because the tree is taller than we are but we can look up and we can see the underside of the tree in the first picture and the second picture even more so because we're looking up if I was looking straight up, I wouldn't even see the house. If I was laying on the laying down on the ground here, I would only see the sky and 
the bottom of the, the, the tree here looking up into the leaves of the tree okay so the box again the box is like this now you can see the box but we can't see the top of the box you know we can't see the top of the box at all at all like we can in the first picture we can't can't see that now if we're looking down more so you're not gonna see right let's just go for a far out view we're looking at the top of the tree okay the top of the tree on an let's say on an angle and it will make it on an angle we're not going straight but we'll do a house there this is the house from a certain angle we're looking at the roof and we can also see this and this you know we can see more of the top of that box a little bit of the, the sides of it you see and the, the actual trunk of the tree we can't really see because it's just under here only a little bit we're looking straight we can't with mean, the birds nest is under the leaves there somewhere we may not see those branches in the nest because it's underneath the leaves let's say you see so that's a perspective thing you see so I don't even know how I got on this topic talking about perspective and stuff but yeah I was just saying I'm gonna draw some um, oh yeah I was saying about pers perspective right so that's what I'm saying so if I'm on another layer another you know the lines here okay that's what I'm trying to say to you so yeah so let's say we got like sometimes I'll do a character with the head the neck the torso down to the hips and then you know the legs I'll just put both legs on these lines here it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be that wide apart <laughs> just keeping it like this I'm just doing roughly I'm just standing this roughly here I'm just making sure that they're not on one line is what I'm trying to say it's going to depend on the waist I mean if I've got some big guy if you know I mean this is the angle as well you see so if I've got some big dude with big wide waist like that then maybe the bit the giant man then maybe we're going to have it like that so it's a different thing but what I'm trying to say is like I may sometimes just do a head, a body, and a, and, a, and a waist there. If you were to do it like this, one, two, three, that's like a snowman, you've got no space for the legs, right? But sometimes it's like this, a funny thing is, like you can do a circle here, like four, that's what I find. It's crazy, and sometimes it's like, even like this, it's like head, not neck, but head, uh, what do you call that, torso, or the rib cage then the gut the abdomen whatever you call it i might even just overlap like that even then then a waist hips okay a smaller one and then the body the the legs sorry the legs crazy right you may you may want to do it like that just put a load of circles to give us a one just like a bunch of circles you might even just do it random not forget even size even head yeah, well, I might want I might want to have that split into two or not. It just depends. Waist, legs, and you think, what the hell is he doing? And the arms, and, and the reason I'll do that is because it's just different reasons. I'll do the head. I'll do it a certain way. You know, I'll do it a certain way. Let's just do that there. See, I'll do the arms. That's there. See, boom, boom. I know that's the. So that's the groin area. And for the legs, I might want to like work it a certain way not like that but you know what I'm saying I might want to work the legs a certain way to keep the understanding of that ball to show the placement so let's say I'm going to have that there see do you see what I'm doing I'm working on that line and that line I'm keeping the distance and all that where this guy's standing so I'm imagining I'm putting a ball on the floor that, uh, this is a ball okay and we're looking straight down on it now okay we're looking straight down on this ball okay and here's the centre of a path, and, and the ball is as wide as. Please ignore that shit. It's an advertisement. Um, the ball is as wide as this path, okay? And there's a centre line to show that it's right on the centre of the path as well. And we're looking straight down on it. So imagine now you've got the guy's feet then. Footprints, okay? These are the guy's feet. Doesn't look like feet, man, does it? Let's just make them like feet, okay? So these are feet, okay? You see, however he's standing. If those feet are going to be together, what is he doing? Standing on a tightrope, or what? The feet could be slightly paced. 
spaced out or whatever and now on top of that you've got you know we're going to see this big the body you can't see the legs obviously this is the head the shoulders are there you can't see his hands resting by his side he said we're looking straight down on this dude okay so this is what we got here okay so you know i'm just saying kind of hard to see i know but this is what we're looking at okay and um, so sometimes I'm, i'll imagine that you see i'll imagine that and i just think a ball that with these balls is a good way of working things um if i just do this again see if i if i just get rid of that and start another layer for a second I was going to do some sketches, but I'm just working with this now. If I just do random balls, not with pink all the damn time. I do balls here, see, boom, boom. Head, torso, gut, this could be the gut. I could do another one for the waist. And that might be, I don't have to do one for the legs. But I might want to do one. I might want to do a ball and then work out where the legs are going to be within that ball. So let me explain that again, okay. So the face, the, the head, sorry. The head's looking straight at us, that's the front of the head. The, the chest's going to be about there, and it's facing that side. The torso, the gut area, I'll make it a little bit similar, it's on the side there. Uh, okay, the way, oh, there is a, there's a hips part, and the hips is on this side. I want to make the hips to be over there. Can you see what we're doing? And now these legs, I'm just thinking where I want to put the feet. So I want my one foot to be here, and one foot to be... I don't know, just over here. Could be anywhere, could be there. Could be anywhere here. But I'll just, I'm just going to have it there, okay? And what we do is we match that up. So we imagine where the hips are. So this, this is the, this is the front of the hips, right? So I'm going to imagine that the, the sides of the hips is one here and one here, get it? The short, hot sides of the shoulders is one here and one here because that's the front part of the chest. See? And we need, and this is the ground where they're standing. Both feet seem to be on one straight line here, but the path's about there. And we've got this area here, we've got this circle that this character's standing on. So I'm just imagining where the legs are going to be. So let's just say that the feet are here, and the knees are about coming towards us, but well, that's slightly higher there. This is there, going down. This is there, and here. You see, I'm just going to put one hand here and one hand here. He's in some kind of fighting stance. The arms are like that. These are supposed to be the hands, but I don't want to confuse you. But we can't see the rest of the arm because it's behind there. See, if this is an elbow, the hand would be here. But I'm doing it like the this. These are the hands. Know, holding swords or whatever you see and the elbows behind there so I'll do a red elbow for you the red elbows about there see behind let's just imagine okay I could have drawn them the same as the legs with like two parts so the hip the knee and the foot so this could be the shoulder the elbow and then the rest of the arm would be here and then the hand but we're not doing that we, we can only see the hands holding these weapons because of the position how they're faced if you put your arm out straight in front of you in front of a mirror you'll see what I mean it's harder to see the rest of your arm but if you just bend it slightly you'll find different parts of, of vis visible let me show you an example if you really don't understand what I'm saying if I do this and then bend it a little so you're going to see a bit see that this is the elbow and this is the hand see and he's holding a weapon so but this side we can't see it because it's there okay so that's that okay so we understand that and all the shapes are really weird we've got such big circles a big head a big body and everything right but i'm saying you can just use this as a basic thing you don't even have to i've, I've actually kind of followed as well i'm giving him really like short looking legs and everything right but you don't have to you could just like put it down like i'll show you look put this here uh merge that down and I'm just going to go on top of that and just work with that now. You understand that there's a spine inside all this, linking everything up, right? You done so with the centre of the head, going straight down to the middle. There's a spine as well. I didn't mention that line, sorry. 
But this is what we're doing. Okay, so let's just show you on another layer. You can barely see that, right? But you can still see it. I'm going to have my head here smaller. You see how I'm drawing that smaller there? And I'm going to draw the face because I know I've planned to have that face on that cross facing us, right? Give him some hair. He's pretty happy, he looks. <laughs> and now I'm going to have this here and then the shoulders, you see, on the sides. And we're not following the circles of that thing, we just know that the shoulders are here. Okay. And uh, oh, these are the arms, okay, fair enough. And then that means that this is the weapon, it's pretty close to us, remember, so the hands are going to be bigger, okay? So I have done um, the back of that arm there because I. I've done it a bit wrong, so let me just, <laughs> okay, for you, I'll go again, um, it seems like I've done him a bit too small, this character, so let's make him a little bit, little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, okay, just so I can show you what I mean with the perspective part, and the hand will be about there, you see, and this will be here, he's holding the thing, but the rest of the arm is like barely, it's not going to be a long thing, you might see it just about there, see, but this is here, and then the shoulders about there, as you know, about there. You're going to do this in here, this hand's here, do a weapon. You don't, you don't have to follow exactly, you know, but that's about there. You can see that. This is here. You know, it's not perfect, but you get the idea. I'm just doing a rough one just to show you here, okay? Oh, this is the rest of the body, isn't it? Yeah, so the guts and stuff. Then the hips, as I said here. And these knees are bent like pretty close towards us. Okay, and then they'll be like further away, I'm guessing, really. Like, these um these are the backs of the legs that we can't really see again because they're like further away, it's bent towards uh, bent further away from us, you see. It's not the best um a picture, but it's like a best example, but I'm just trying to show you how hard work with some of these kind of ideas I'm saying and they don't have to be actual um, circles you can just do like long shapes or whatever or different things sometimes I'll do triangles as I say like that see and do triangles and do things like that and then do more stuff like that do different things like squares or circles whatever it's going to be I might do like sausage shapes or like imagine them to be like cylinders you know and things like that so you know Things like that, you see, um, a, a joint might be a sphere, another like that. You might have cubes and stuff, like I mentioned before, like cube type, you know, square type shaped things, or a cube head with a lot of lines on it. Things like you can do all kinds of shapes, see. And when you get better, you just get used to different things. So I might do like a stick figure, and I start to see things in, in 3D. So I, you know, and I'll start to see that. So when I'm looking at that, I'm looking at that in 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 basically 3D. See, I'm I'm looking at that in 3D. So so I'm looking at that like the arm. Say this person's there. You know, it's a woman or whatever. Well, it's a woman, okay. And it's like basically very 3D. I'm looking at like is very like this it's not flat it's not it's not flat no it's very uh, 3d no, I'm just looking at that okay so imagining that okay as I'm doing it um, so whenever I'm drawing a, uh, a shape I'll, I'll try and imagine it like maybe even like really rough like scribbles and stuff. I'm trying to see where 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 the things are going. I'm just sharing what I'm doing here. Okay, so that's not the best example, but you see, see how I start them same shapes. This might be here. See that might be there. This is coming closer to us. He's punching towards this thing. The hips are under there. We can't see them. This one's coming towards us. Um, yeah, that's there. That's about there, and you see. Oh, okay. Let's do that there. Okay, I kind of messed that up, but you get the idea, though. And there. 
actually looks like a hand actually so I'm going to have that and look at us there this one's okay punch in there okay punch in as he's running towards us this foot this foot's further away boom you know It's a terrible picture, but you get the idea. Let's try, try and like work with the perspective. I'll see you in another video. Okay, thanks for watching.